I know what we have. And you know it, too. Hey. Oh, hi, Greenlee. So you, uh, you called us down here. What is it? What, what, what's so important? Brian and I are engaged. Oh, congratulations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there are going to be two big happy weddings around here. Ryan took me back to the place where we got married the first time. Seemed appropriate. Nice. Thank you. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> it was perfect. Everything, the proposal was romantic, it was thoughtful, it was miraculous. I never thought, I mean, two years ago on Valentine's Day, it was supposed to be the beginning. And then we lost each other. We lost everything. But we found each other again this time around. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just, that's wonderful. Yeah, it is. So have you set a date for this big event? We thought we would double with you guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we haven't, we haven't set a date yet. Mm. Good. We didn't want it to um, conflict with your wedding. Well, Erica and I haven't actually uh, set a date yet either. But I thought you guys wanted to get married as soon as possible. Well, I mean, every time we, we think we're in the clear, another obstacle gets thrown in our way. <laughs> what obstacle could keep Erica Kane from marrying the love of her life? I'll tell you what, you just pick whatever date you'd like, huh? Are you sure? I'm positive. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at two people who are destined to be together. Don't let complications and doubts and all this other nonsense get in the way of that. Don't let it creep in. Just... You belong together as husband and wife. Want to get me another mimosa? No, I want to take you. Let's both get okay. ready. Come on. Did we pick a bad time to spring this on you and Jack? No, not at all. Okay, because I, I sort of sense a little more tension. Don't worry about me. You're getting married? Kendall. Congratulations. When did it happen? I, I thought it wasn't even on your radar. I'll tell you another time. No, no, no. I want to hear everything, okay? Now, dish. Well, Ryan proposed last night. And we haven't planned anything yet. When we do, it'll be low-key. No, no, I mean, you need to do something big and extravagant. I mean, come on, you deserve it. We'd rather keep it small. Greenlee, you should have the dream wedding you've always wanted. Please don't hold back because of me. Hey, can I just show you something real quick? I'm just going to steal it for one sec. Okay. <clears throat> you okay? Is that why you ushered me over here? Because you think I'm freaking out because you guys are engaged? for you guys. It's okay. If, if you got some feelings around this, I want, I want to be able to... I'm fine. Okay, because the last thing that Greenlee and I want is to be insensitive to your feelings. So if there's a way that that we can make this kind of easier, we, I want to talk about it, we can figure it out. No, I told you, man. I'm okay, all right? I mean, it's not like I didn't know this was coming. Yeah, but it might have hit you a little harder than, than you thought. Okay, you know what your wife-to-be? She needs another mimosa. <laughs> so I'm going over there. <laughs> nice to hear your voice again. Why are you calling me? No, oh, I don't know. I was just sitting here in my hospital bed thinking about the bullet that Kendall pumped into me. For some reason, I thought of you. What do you want? Well, just a little favor, that's all. Meaning blackmail? I want to see Greenlee alone here at the hospital. And I want you to make that happen. Now. All right. Excuse me. So, what are uh, we all talking about? Well, I was um, just discussing uh, Renee's divorce to David and how she can't get married until it goes through. 
Well, I'm moving that along as quickly as I possibly can. Yeah, it's easier when he's in a coma, but now I have to do it the old-fashioned way. And you know what? You should get on that right away. You should go right down now and talk to David. She most certainly should not. You should go nowhere near that. No, she's going to have to face him sooner or later. Sooner's better. Well, but absolutely not. I have a, a perfectly competent attorney working on Well, what I mean is that, you know, David, he could just drag this thing out for months and months and months, especially once he knows that you're engaged. Eric is right. He'd probably hold out just for spite. And I don't want some random judge or lawyer deciding when I'm going to get married. I have the papers. All I have to do is get David to sign them. No, 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 no. Look, do not go anywhere I'm near going. him alone. I'm Wouldn't going. I'm going. Okay, let's go. No, no. You know what? If David sees you, he's definitely not going to let you see me. You should stay here and talk to Ken. Okay. Okay. All right, but I'm not leaving you alone with him for very long. He's going to be handcuffed. I am going to be a few minutes behind you. Take your time. I know how to handle David. Yo, boss, can I talk to you in my office? Oh, wait. Not now. Data entry, please. I have experience. Sorry, they don't make license plates in here. Let's get the best I could do. What's uh, the latest on you and Matthew? Well, it's totally awkward. We don't really have much to talk about. Uh, uh, uh. But you got me a job, so a deal's a deal. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure she doesn't lean her pregnant baby on Ryan. Make it work. We'll talk later. I have to go. Mm-hmm. And you can promote me any time. I thought I'd never see you again. A little more than a year ago, I was where you are now. In a hospital bed. Trying to come to grips with my new reality. You standing over me. A lot's changed. Yes, that's true. But a lot has stayed exactly the same. Well, one thing has definitely changed in the last year. Us. Our relationship. That's why I came to talk to you. I want... The ring. It's new. I didn't give that to you. 